so now we are going to see the another model so this is mainly for the skeletal derivatives of pharyngeal arches uh, so this is the first arch already you know so what are the skeletal derivatives of first arch means that is your malleus and incus next this is that cartilage of first arch called as meckel's cartilage so the perichondrium covering this meckel's cartilage actually persists to form two ligaments that is your sphenomandibular ligament and anterior ligament of malleus remaining part of the cartilage forms the part of the mandible of that particular side so even though you are seeing only that skeletal derivatives in this model you should be able to tell what are the other derivatives of your arches so derivatives of first arch means what are the muscles derived so they are the muscles of mastication next you are antebellum of digastric mylohyoid tensor tympani and tensor palatii all you should be able to answer so examiner may ask uh, the other derivatives also not only that skeletal derivatives so next this is your second arch so what are the skeletal derivatives of second arch means that is your stapes so next that is your styloid process so this is the dorsal part of your second arch if you go to the ventral part of second arch so that gives rise to your lesser horn and upper part of the body of hyoid bone so this is that your hyoid bone so note that your entire hyoid bone is not formed from the second arch only lesser horn and upper part of the body now remaining part of your second pharyngeal arch forms a ligament that extends from the styloid process to the lesser horn of hyoid bone that is your stylohyoid ligament so these are all important for mcqs also so this is stylohyoid ligament remnant of cartilage of your second arch here your sphenomandibular ligament and anterior ligament of malleus remnant of your perichondrium covering first arch cartilage next if you go to the third arch so that is very simple so skeletal derivatives of third arch means your greater horn and lower part of the body of hyoid bone so that is derived from your third arch ventral part dorsal part entirely disappears of course the other derivatives means the nerve is the glossopharyngeal now the what is that only muscle supplied by it that is your stylopharyngeus so that is the derivatives of your third arch if you go to the fourth arch here also we have the disappearance of your dorsal part only ventral part persists so the ventral part persists to form upper part of your lamina of the thyroid cartilage and your superior horn of thyroid cartilage so other derivative means the nerve is the superior laryngeal now actually that superior laryngeal now divides into external laryngeal and internal laryngeal so now of this arch is your external laryngeal now so what is that muscle supplied by it so already you know that is the only muscle that is your cricothyroid so the nerve is the your superior laryngeal now its branch your external laryngeal now the skeletal derivatives means your upper part of lamina of thyroid cartilage and superior horn of thyroid cartilage muscle is the cricothyroid muscle next your fifth arch disappears so this is the ventral part of sixth arch so skeletal derivative your lower part of lamina of thyroid cartilage inferior horn of course the next one is your cricothyroid so these are the skeletal derivatives of sixth arch the nerve of sixth arch is your recurrent laryngeal now so what are the muscles supplied by it so all the intrinsic muscles of larynx except your cricothyroid so derivatives of sixth arch means your skeletal derivative lower part of lamina of the thyroid cartilage your inferior horn of thyroid cartilage your cricoid cartilage the muscles all the intrinsic muscles of larynx except your cricothyroid all are supplied by recurrent laryngeal now so these are the derivatives of your skeletal derivatives of your pharyngeal arches so let me enumerate the other derivatives of second arch so already i told about the skeletal derivative stapes styloid process lesser horn and upper part of the body of hyoid bone so the nerve of second arch is facial nerve so already you studied about it so already you know that what are all the muscles supplied by facial nerve also so all the muscles of facial expressions are derived from second arch that's why all those muscles are supplied by facial nerve in addition to that what are the other muscles supplied by facial nerve is important so that is your 
posterior belly of digastric. So always if you tell posterior belly of digastric, you have to tell stylohyoid also. So another muscle, so that is attached to your steps, that is your stapedius. So that is the smallest skeletal muscle present in the body. So these are all the muscles derived from our second pharyngeal arch.